Hello everyone, this is JavaMonk, and today I'd like to showcase an exclusive snapshot for update 1.21. This snapshot has just one small little feature that is an absolute redstone game changer. This is the time travel observer. So as you guys know, I really like time travel a lot. And this time travel observer, what it basically does is it acts just like a normal observer, except it sends the redstone pulse five ticks before it detects the change, rather than one tick after like a normal observer does. Now, that is interesting. So as you can see, I have an acacia sapling here that's blocked from growing. And acacia saplings just regularly, they regularly send out ticks. I have the random tick, seed, tick speeds cranked up a little bit so that way you can actually see what's going on. And observers normally detect when the sapling attempts to grow and sends a pulse. But the time travel observer does the exact same kind of observing, except this lamp is consistently firing five ticks before this lamp does. Here's another setup. So here's where something like the time travel observer would be really, really handy. Let's say you had a chain of observers like this. Normally this would add one tick of delay for every single one of these observers. But the time travel observer basically removes five, tick of, five ticks of delay, just like that. So I, I, have, I have one observer here to basically create one tick of delay. Check this out. Boom. That lamp fired way faster than that lamp did. And it really does act like a normal observer where, yeah, it, it still sends the one tick, the one tick pulse from the, from the time travel observer, except it just removes five, six, five ticks of delay. Now here's the thing, having an observer detect things five ticks before something happens can cause some weird issues. You see, when it's detecting something like the sapling, see the way that the developers, the way the developers did all this was they basically delayed every single game action by five ticks. So having the time travel observer detect things five ticks before they happen is perfectly fine unless there's a player input. Because how exactly is, the, is a time travel observer supposed to detect when I'm going to flick this lever five, and send a pulse five ticks before I actually flick the lever? Yeah, that would cause some serious issues. So rather than de the developers trying to predict what the players would do, they instead made it so it does not react in the slightest if there's less than five ticks of delay between the time travel observer and the player input. And it really is five ticks, because even one tick of delay, still no reaction. Even four ticks of delay before the time travel observer, not enough to make it react. And as you can see, yeah, having the, having five ticks of delay before the time travel observer basically makes an instant wire. Fully, 100% legitimate instant wire. This right here is a really smart thing that the developers did because if they didn't do this, that would, that would seriously call free will into question. I hope you enjoyed the showcase. I know it was kind of short, but this time travel observer is a small feature that is an absolute redstone game changer. Imagine redstone circuits being like a hundred times faster than normal because now you can, now basically instant wire is a fully legitimate thing. You don't need to do any weird instant repeaters or anything like that. Just hook up a bunch of observers and a time travel observer. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please let me know. I'll see you next time.